Lands Commissioner Doug Sutherland accused of letting homes burn during the devastating Valley View fire. Tonight, the controversial ad put out by his opponent, Peter Goldmark, and the facts that do and do not back that ad up. Who would have ever thought that the race for Lands Commissioner here in Washington would get so heated? Tonight, that's exactly what's happened. One candidate is accusing the other of dropping the ball and actually letting homes burn in the Spokane Valley. Republican Doug Sutherland is facing a stiff challenge from Okanagan rancher Peter Goldmark. Goldmark is accusing Sutherland of not doing enough to protect the dozens of homes that burned in the Valley View fire this past July. Make it count coverage tonight. KXLY 4's McKay Allen is live in the Dishman Hills area where there is a dispute over whether Sutherland could have done more to protect the homes. McKay? Yeah, Goldmark says Sutherland allowed a plane that was ready to fly, one that could have put flames out on the Valley View fire. Uh, Goldmark says Sutherland just allowed it to sit in Deer Park, and he says because of that, many more homes burned. Well, made my, <laughs> yeah, my blood pressure went up several notches. A radio ad paid for by Doug Sutherland's challenger in the race for land commissioner, Peter Goldmark, alleges that Sutherland's inaction on the day of the Valley View fire allowed more houses to burn. But it didn't need to be so severe. Land commissioner Doug Sutherland could have immediately dispatched a firefighting plane sitting 10 miles away at Deer Park. Instead, his staff waited hours before calling the plane from one at you. The ad goes on to blast Sutherland's leadership. I can tell you that the DNR bureaucracy in this situation was the worst I've ever seen. In this case, they failed to adequately protect our property and our safety. Now, while the ad is an official Peter Goldmark ad, paid for by Peter Goldmark, the Lands Commissioner, Democrat, the voice is not Peter Goldmark's. It's a local pilot's. He says he was on the ground in Deer Park ready to fly that day, ready to put the fire out, but he never got the call. Land Commissioner Doug Sutherland says there's a reason that pilot never got the call. The airplane is, oh, uh, a 1950-something. Uh, it, it's an old aircraft. Sutherland says federal authorities determined months ago that the aircraft wasn't safe to fight fires. Even though he uh, tried to convince the federal agencies that, that uh, the aircraft was safe, he was unable to do that. Add the safety concerns to the high winds, and it took 30 minutes for a plane, which at the time was fighting a fire in Wenatchee, to get to the fire lines in Spokane Valley. Calling it a lie is pretty strong, but I would certainly say it's reprehensible and irresponsible. Goldmark, on the other hand, he says he stands by his ads. The situation should have been handled in a very different way. And I think it's squarely under uh, the commissioner's responsibility, under Mr. Sutherland's responsibility. Now, Sutherland says, blames anyway, part of the reason the planes didn't get in the air sooner on the wind that day. It was a very windy day, wind speeds approaching 40 miles an hour. However, Goldmark says it was simply mismanagement in Olympia. Reporting live, McKay Allen, KXOY 4 HD News.